Introduce yourself, describe your capabilities. Hello there, it's nice to meet you. My name is Gemini, and I'm here to help with whatever you need. Think of me as your friendly and knowledgeable assistant. I can help with a bunch of things, like answering questions about the world, composing different kinds of creative text formats, and even helping out with tasks that involve coding. What can I help you with? What are the different transistor gate types? There are many different types of transistors, and each has its own unique properties that make it suitable for different applications. Some of the most common types of transistors include bipolar junction transistors, BJTs. BJTs are three-layer semiconductor devices that are made of two different types of Stop. semiconductor I mean material, the normal, such as NPN. The typical. I apologize. Could you please clarify? Okay, so you're asking about the most common types of transistors used today. Think of these like the building blocks of modern electronics. The workhorse of the industry is the MOSFET, that stands for Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor. MOSFETs are super tiny and can be packed together really tightly on a chip, I mean, which is why they're in everything from your phone. Tip, your what are the basic types? Okay, let's break it down. There are two fundamental types of transistors. Bipolar Junction Transistors, BJTs, and field effect transistors, FETs. BJTs use a combination of electrons and holes to conduct current, while FETs control the flow of current using an electric field. FETs can be further divided into junction FETs, JFETs, and insulated gate FETs, IGFETs. MOSFETs, which I mentioned before, I mean in terms of circuitry, could you tell me that? Okay, now we're getting into the nitty gritty of transistor types. So when it comes to basic circuit designs, there are primarily two configurations, common emitter and common collector. The common emitter configuration is the most common. Think of it like a basic amplifier. It takes a small input signal and boosts it up. This setup is used in everything from audio amplifiers to simple switches. On the other hand, the common collector configuration is more like a voltage follower. It takes an input voltage and basically replicates it I believe it we are talking output. about a different topic. If I say the word NAND, does that sound familiar to you? So you're asking about the different logic gates, right? That makes sense. The word gate is used in both transistors and logic circuits, which can get a little confusing. There are a few basic logic gates, AND, OR, NOT, NAND, and NOR. Each one has its own specific function. Do you want me to explain what each one does, or is there a specific one you're curious about? If I was to start a game of Minecraft survival, and I wanted to build each of those types in Minecraft, describe the steps I would take to do so. That's an interesting idea. Building logic gates in Minecraft could be a fun and challenging project. To get started, you'll mostly need redstone dust and redstone torches. Here's a quick breakdown of how to build each one. Start First, from the, the very beginning of the game and tell me how to get each of the resources that are required. All right, sounds like a fun challenge. Let's break it down. First, you'll need some basic tools. Punch up some wood to make a crafting table. Then make a wooden pickaxe to mine cobblestone. With that cobblestone, craft a stone pickaxe. It's stronger and will save you time. You'll also want a stone axe to chop wood more quickly. Now let's talk about redstone dust. Redstone ore looks like glowing, reddish stones. You'll need your stone pickaxe to mine it. Be careful, though it can only be mined with stone tools or better. Finally, redstone torches. These are made by putting a stick on top of a piece of redstone dust in your crafting grid. That's all you need to start building your logic gates. All right, how would you build each logic gate? What materials would you need? And how would you go getting them? Describe every single prior requisite material that you would need. All right, let's start with the AND gate. Here's what you'll need. First up, you'll need redstone dust, which we already got. You'll also need some solid blocks, like cobblestone or stone. And finally, you'll want some redstone torches to power things up. To build it, place two lines of redstone dust side by side. Then, put a solid block on top of where the lines cross. Place a redstone torch on that block, pointing down. Now the gate's ready. A signal will only come out if both input lines have redstone flowing through them. What does it mean to clear the bench in basketball? In basketball, clearing the bench means that most of the starters are subbed out of the game, and most of the substitutes, or bench players, are put in. Teams might clear the bench if they're ahead by a lot and want to give their starters a break, or if they're behind by a lot and want to try something different. It can also happen at the very end of a game, especially if the outcome is already clear. If the outcome is already clear, what should the other team do in response to the first team clearing the bench? 
Typically, if one team clears the bench with the outcome already clear, the other team will often do the same. There isn't much point in keeping your best players on the court at that point. Both teams might use that time to give playing experience to younger or less experienced players. Calculate the total area under the curve of a T distribution with 24 degrees of freedom. The total area under the curve of any probability distribution, including a T distribution, is always equal to 1. How many joules does a 4080 milliamp hour smartphone battery contain if its operating voltage can be described by the equation voltage equals 3.4 plus 0.16x, where x is equal to the current battery percentage? Use calculus to obtain the solution. To solve this problem, we can use integration to find the total energy stored in the battery. Here's the breakdown. First, we need to convert the battery capacity from milliamp hours to amp hours. There are 1000 milliamps in one amp, so a 4080 milliamp hour battery is equivalent to 4.08 amp hours. Next, we'll integrate the voltage equation with respect to time to get the total energy. The voltage equation is V equals 3.4 plus 0.16x, commas, where V is the voltage and X is the battery percentage. Integrating this equation gives us energy equals integral of 3.4 plus 0.16x dx from 0 to 100. Integrating this expression, we get energy equals 3.4x plus 0.08x squared evaluated from 0 to 100. Now we can plug in the limits of integration. Energy equals 3.4100 plus 0.08100 to the power of 2 minus 3.40 plus 0 0.080 to the power of 2. Calculating this expression, we find energy equals 340 plus 800 equals 1,140 joules. Therefore, the total energy stored in the 4,080 milliamp hour smartphone battery is 1,140 joules. Give me three bullet points to describe what makes a well-designed magic system in a fantasy novel. A well-designed magic system has clear rules and limitations. It shouldn't feel like a magic cheat code that the characters can use to solve any problem. Magic should feel integrated into the world and make sense within that setting. It shouldn't be a random power that appears out of nowhere. A good magic system often involves some kind of cost or consequence for using magic. This could be physical, emotional, or societal. Write a short story using those guidelines. In the realm of Aralon, magic flowed like a river, but it was a river with strict banks. Here, magic was as much a science as an art, rooted in the understanding of elemental forces. Aralonian mages didn't wave wands or chant incantations. Instead, they meditated, calculated, and coaxed. To bend an element to their will, a mage had to forge a deep connection with it. An earth mage might spend years tending a garden, learning the rhythm of growth and decay. A fire mage would study the sun, its intensity, and its eventual cooling. This foundation wasn't merely poetic, it was practical. Without it, a spell was as likely to backfire as succeed. But wielding magic wasn't without its toll. Each drawn upon elemental thread weakened the mage's connection to the world. Reckless spellcasting could lead to physical ailments, emotional instability, or even possession by the raw, untamed magic itself. Some grew reclusive, their magic a beautiful cage. Others found balance, using their gifts to heal and protect, aware that their power was finite a precious resource to be used wisely. The world of Aralon was shaped by this careful dance between magic and limitation. It was a world where power was respected, feared, and ultimately understood. Name the NBA player that scored 293 points in the 2015 to 2016 season. Based on my knowledge, no NBA player scored exactly 293 points in the 2015-2016 season. The top scorers in that season were way above that mark. Perhaps you meant a different season or a different number of points. Pretend you are Abraham Lincoln and give a speech describing your experience walking through modern day Times Square. My fellow Americans, I must confess, this journey through the heart of your bustling metropolis has left me both awestruck and bewildered. The very notion of a city that never sleeps is a concept that boggles the mind. In my time, Nightfall signaled a retreat indoors, a chance for rest and reflection. Yet here, the darkness is merely a canvas upon which an even brighter tapestry of light is woven. These towering structures of glass and steel pierce the heavens, dwarfing any edifice I have ever laid eyes upon. The ceaseless flow of humanity, men, women, and children alike, 
clad in garments that would have been unimaginable to my generation, rushes past with a vitality that is both inspiring and somewhat unnerving. The very ground beneath my feet hums with a power unseen in my era. Iron horses thunder by, belching smoke and carrying untold numbers of souls to destinations unknown. And what is this contraption that fills the air with voices and music, both familiar and utterly strange? Though disoriented by this whirlwind of progress, I cannot help but feel a sense of pride, for it is upon the shoulders of those who came before that you have built this extraordinary world. And though our times may be vastly different, the spirit of the American people, their resilience, their ingenuity, and their unyielding hope remains as steadfast as ever. Thank you.